All right, all right. Blessings to you, brothers and sisters. Amen. We back in the land of the living again. Really smooth, easy topic this morning. Well, the word of God is always nourishment to the bodies. Amen. Just walking in your purpose, brothers and sisters. Walk in your purpose. Walk in, walk in Christ, man. Be healed. Be set free. The Lord can do all those things. All you got to do is just believe it in your mouth. Have a yes in your mouth and an amen in your heart. Let's get into a little bit of my brother T.Y. T.Y. Good brother here out of Jackson, out of New York City, up north. Dropping some good music, man. He gave it to me a couple of days ago. Let's jump into it and we'll get into the message. Yes, sir. Lord, we need your power, spirit, planning to fall on us right now, sweet spirit, fall on me right now, I feel your presence within me, I need you within me, I see your Holy Spirit right now, possess my mind, my body, mind, and my soul, do it within me, hey. Do it inside of me, Lord, I need it Do it inside of me, Lord, I need it Move inside of me, Lord, you can do it Move inside of me, Lord, I need it Do it inside of me, Lord, I need it Do it inside of me, Lord, I need it Move inside of me, Lord, you can do it Set free, set me free. So much power in the blood, power in your word. Lord, I need your saving grace. I need it every day. I thank you for your mercy. I need it every way. I, I know I won't I stop till you deliver me. I won't stop. I know. Yeah, man, that's just a little bit of my boy T.Y. Man, I'm gonna play that whole song probably on the audio, on the video, main slash audio podcast soon enough here in the near future. My brothers and sisters, it's a blessing, a blessing. And that's the reason why, just like my brother said in the song, man, purify me, Father. Purify me so that I can be set free. Amen. And that's what you want. You want the Lord to purify you. Be set free in the Lord. Amen. But that's what you want. You want to be set free. I know a lot of us are going through some things. Come on now. I know a lot of us are going through some things in life. We're dealing with some stuff. We want to come out. We want, like the Lord says, come out from among them and be separate. And touch no clean thing. And the Lord says he will receive you. Amen. Being set free or being set apart from the world doesn't mean we can have fun. But we are not included in the sinful acts of this world. Amen. We're not included in the sinful acts of this world. We're not included to the things that are contrary to the word of God. It is like fake Christians of the world who live like unbelievers. This world likes to smoke weed. We shouldn't like to smoke weed. Weed and God do not mix. The world is influenced with manifestations of worldly activities while others are in need we don't live like this Christians don't live in sin and things that the Bible doesn't condone amen we can't live that way let your light shine before others God has chosen you out of the world to show you his glory in you you're in the world but do not be part of the world hallelujah don't follow the world's desires and live like unbelievers but walk in the but walk like Jesus our Lord and Savior our holiness comes from Christ amen amen in him we are holy we must allow our lives to be to reflect our outer appearance and love for grace peace that was paid for us on the cross with Jesus Christ. 
Amen. So we know, brothers and sisters, we're no longer of the old man. In the book of 1 Peter, chapter 2, verse 9, it says, But you are not like that, for you are a chosen people. You are a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you show your others, you show others the goodness of God. He called us out of the darkness and brung us into his marvelous light. So we got to show the world the goodness of the Lord. We got to show the world what the light is supposed to look like. We see that this world is dark. We see that the things that's going on in this world is dark. But we don't have to be like the world. Amen. We don't have to talk. We don't have to smell. We don't have to look. We don't have to do. Hallelujah. The things of the world. In the book of Deuteronomy 14 and 2. You have been set apart as a holy, as holy to the Lord your God. And he has chosen you, amen, me, you, from all the nations of the earth to be his own special treasure. Hallelujah. We the Lord's treasure, brothers and sisters. You see how wonderful that is? We are the Lord's treasure. That's wonderful. Revelation 18 and 4. Let me give you another one. Then I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out from her, my people. So that you would not share in her sins. So that you would not receive any of her plagues. Come out from among them, the Lord says, and be ye separate. And touch no unclean thing. See, we set apart. You see how wonderful it is to be set apart? See, this is not nothing hard. This is not nothing that is saying that you're in bondage or you got to be in a law underneath the old Mosaic law and you got to do this and you got to do that. No, the Lord ain't making it hard because it's not hard because he already chose you. Amen. Hallelujah. See, the Lord, he already chose you and he chose you out of, out of the darkness and bring you into his marvelous light, brothers and sisters. What do we have to fear? Amen. Let me give you two more here in the book of Psalms 4 and 3. You can be sure of this. The Lord set apart the godly for himself. Little G. The Lord will answer them when they answer them when I call to him. When we call to him, the Lord will answer. I'm telling you, it don't matter what you're praying for. But you got to elevate your prayer. You're elevating your life, elevating the things that's going on in your life. You got to elevate. Everything must go up, 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 and up. See, as you mature in your walk, your prayer life should mature. Your word should mature. You should be using different, you, you should be using different words, different speeches, not coming to the Father with the lollipop prayers. And sometimes, yes, I know a lot of us got microwave prayers where they poop, poop, and that's it. But we got to elevate, brothers and sisters. We're talking about coming up higher. We're talking about being set apart. We're talking about not looking like the world. We're talking about doing all these things. Amen. The fruits of the Spirit. First John 4, 4 and 5. But you belong to God, my dear children. You have already won a victory over those people because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. Hallelujah. Those people belong to this world. So they speak from the world's viewpoint and the world listens to them. See, the world listens to the people that speak from their viewpoint. But we're not of the world. We're from God, and when we speak like Christ, when we live like Christ, when we walk like Christ, to the best of our ability, we're not looking like the world. You see it? Oh, don't make it hard, brothers and sisters. Be blessed, be encouraged today. I, I think I got, I can think I can make this another part two, part three series, man, because this is wonderful news. We're talking about being set apart. Set apart. We're talking about purify me, oh Lord, purify me. Have we prayed those things? Have we asked, say, Lord, Father, Lord, anyone that are listening to this audio right now, Father, anyone listening to this podcast right now here and down the road, Lord, purify their mind, their body, and their soul, Lord, so they can be better prepared for your second coming. Father, purify our body, mind, and soul, Lord, so we can fight the devil and his adversaries. Purify our mind, body, and soul, Father, so that we can endure this race and stay on that narrow path. 
Touch the ones that are going through their go-throughs, that are standing out the window, looking out for them, maybe with suicidal thoughts, maybe with unbelief. Their spirit is down. They're weak in spirit. They're weak in their flesh. They're weak in their mind. Lord, uplift them. Lord, give them their peace. Give them the perfect shalom, the perfect peace that surpasses all understanding. Lord, you are the living water, Father. You are the living water that flows freely, and freely you give, and freely we shall receive in your Son, Jesus, precious mighty name. Brothers and sisters, be blessed. Remember, you can find me on Spotify, iTunes, iHeartRadio, Google Play Store. You can download the podcast at DroppingSeasonMinistry.com right here in Jacksonville, Florida. You can find me on Facebook at Ramon Minister Google on Facebook.com. I'm on YouTube at Ramon, I'm sorry, at Street Preacher 904 on YouTube.com. I'm on TikTok as well, brothers and sisters, man. Uh, hey, wherever you can find me, you can find me. Be blessed, be encouraged, share it, download it. King coming. Shalom.